Hello guys, it's Mr. Apple Touch 31 and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Apple wireless keyboard from Apple. This is the wireless keyboard, it does not have the numeric little buttons over here, the wired keyboard does. This is how to set up your Bluetooth wireless keyboard and this will be set up for your Mac, not your iPad. The reason I'm not screen recording right now is obviously because I have to show you guys the keyboard. So what you're going to want to first do is find system preferences. Once you found system preferences, you're going to want to Set your keyboard on your lap or something like that. And you're going to want to zoom in so you can see. You're going to want to find keyboard. Mine's right here. I'm not sure if it's right here in everybody's Mac, but mine is. You're going to want to hit keyboard. Let it load up. Once you found the keyboard, you're going to want to look down here. And you're going to want to hit set up Bluetooth keyboard. Now it'll say no keyboard found. What you're going to want to do is take your keyboard. Hit the, that power button right there. You can see it's in the shape of a power button. It's going to hit that, a green light will pop on, and then it's going to want, it's going to search for your keyboard. So we'll see how long this takes, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, so once it found the wireless keyboard, it will say found Apple wireless keyboard. You want to hit continue, and it's going to attempt to pair with the wireless keyboard. See how long it takes again. Okay, so once it connects, you should see something like this or something like this. And that means you've connected it right. And uh, as you can see up here, if I type something, if I type hello, typing that, I spelled hello wrong. If I type hello, it will, I'm typing that on my wireless keyboard. And um, it is working, obviously. Another cool thing is that if you look in the bottom left, I just changed the battery so it's at 100%. But if you look in the bottom left, it says keyboard battery level 100%. And I just changed the batteries, so it should be at that. Otherwise, I'd be pissed off and I'd return my batteries. No, I really wouldn't because I'm not that cheap. Anyways, I'm going to end this video now because I'm rambling on and on. And yeah, this video was requested, like I said in the beginning. Maybe I didn't say that. If I didn't say that, I'm saying it now. But if you guys have a video request, leave a comment and I might do it. Maybe not. If it's something dumb, if you ask me to do a video on how to, you know, put batteries in a Xbox controller, I probably won't do that because that's just dumb. But yeah, um, yeah. if you have a video request, please leave a comment, and I'll probably do it again if it's not something stupid. And um, also, if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up this video, and if it really, really helped you out, if you were having the, the toughest time connecting your keyboard for some reason, be sure to favorite it. If you haven't subscribed yet, it really helps me out if you subscribe, and I will have much more videos to come, tutorials, reviews, um, giveaways, lots of tutorials to come, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, and see you later.